This misiam is based on the Malaysian version, which is a hot and spicy dry noodle dish. The spicy base paste is all cooked together from scratch in a pan and then blended up. The whole dish comes together in about 30 minutes. Hi, I'm Nikki. Welcome back to our kitchen, where we show you how to make delicious, family-friendly recipes. My love of Asian food definitely comes from my dad, who spent part of his childhood in Singapore before moving back to the UK. I remember having lots of long conversations when I was first testing this dish several years ago. He used to make the best spicy noodle dishes, so his advice was really important. This misiam has got so many wonderful flavours, so let's get cooking. We're going to start by cooking the vermicelli noodles. Place about 240 grams or eight and a half ounces of dried vermicelli noodles in a pan and pour over some boiling water from the kettle. Turn on the heat and simmer them for about two to three minutes. Then drain them and rinse under cold water to stop the cooking process. So we're gonna put those noodles to one side and start on the chili paste. It takes a few steps to make it, but it's well worth it. So we're gonna start by adding a tablespoon of oil to the wok. Add in two sliced onions and fry on a medium heat for three to four minutes until they start to turn translucent. I remember going to this little Asian stall in Preston Market in the north of England when I was younger with my dad. We pick up some amazing ingredients. I remember packets of MSG and these bottles of soya sauce that seemed absolutely massive. <laughs> right, those onions are looking good. So now we're gonna add in five red, roughly chopped chilies. Yeah, this is gonna be a hot one. We're also gonna add in a teaspoon of minced ginger four cloves of minced garlic and half a teaspoon of shrimp paste. Cook for a further two to three minutes, stirring regularly. Now we're gonna remove from the wok and blitz all those ingredients up. You can use a mini food processor or a blender, or you can use one of these with a stick blender, that's what I'm gonna use. Just make sure it can take the heat because those ingredients are gonna be hot. So add those ingredients in and blend until you get this consistency. Now we're going to lift that flavour even further. Add in two teaspoons of yellow bean paste, half a teaspoon of tamarind paste, a teaspoon of fish sauce and half a teaspoon of sugar. Give it all a good mix together and leave it to one side. Now we're going to make a thin omelette to top off the misiam. So crack two eggs into a bowl or a cup. Add in half a tablespoon of light soy sauce and whisk together. Now add a tablespoon of oil to the wok and heat it over a high heat. Add half of the egg mixture to the wok and move around the pan to create a thin omelette. Turn it over after a minute to cook it on both sides. Then once it's cooked, place on a board and repeat with the remaining egg mixture. Roll those omelettes up and slice them into nice long strips. Okay, so now we're ready to bring the whole dish together and it's gonna to come together really quickly. I can't wait to dig in. So add a tablespoon of oil to the wok. Add in about 20 raw king prawns and cook for two minutes until pink. Now I'm gonna add in some fresh, tiny brown shrimp. This isn't an authentic ingredient in misiam. Normally pungent dried shrimp is used, but I really like the flavor of these little plump shrimp. So add in 70 grams, which is about two and a half ounces of brown shrimp, and 300 grams, which is about two cups of fresh bean sprouts, and cook for a further minute. 
Add in that chilli and onion paste from earlier and heat for a minute until bubbling. Now add in those cup noodles plus a tablespoon of dark soy sauce and heat on a high heat moving round the pan for another couple of minutes until the noodles are heated through. Divide between plates and top with the cooked omelette. I like to sprinkle on some chopped spring onions or scallions, some fresh chilies and then garnish with lime wedges. I'm not saying this is 100% authentic Malaysian mee siam, but this is my take and I love it and the memories that it brings. And apart from the spicy deliciousness of the dish, one of the things that I absolutely love is the toppings. And if you've seen my other videos, you know that I love my toppings.